Moving on from there, I want to talk a little bit about our next control. We just had a new version come out this week for beta testing here in the US, so we're working on that right now. I wanted to show off how easy it is to update the control. On a lot of other machines, you need to have someone from uh, uh, the factory outlet come out to update it for you. It might cost you money. For us, give us a call, download a file, put it on a thumb drive, or uh, put it on your network. You plug that in, then you have access to under utilities here. We have the ability to update Datron Next. It tells us what our current version is and what the setup version is. And we want to install that. All we have to do is press Setup Start. Just make sure that we want to perform the update. We say yes, and then it updates. Depending on the size of the update, it could be about five minutes or it could take about 15 to 20 minutes. But what's cool is that every next update that comes out comes with not only bug fixes, but some new features. Um, so two new features that are coming to Next uh, that uh, we can almost show off. We're waiting for some codes to release them, but we added tool type management, um, which gives us the ability to monitor tool life based on distance or time, and then replace the tool when it gets worn out with a sister tool. So that's one cool feature. We also have group uh, nesting mode. So if you have one part that you want to cut a dozen of, say, you can plot it out. Uh, instead of having to have a huge file to generate that, you can do it all here at the control to nest it out for you.